close your eyes and breathe fully conscious of what you're doing as you breathe. Try to feel the breath all the way down to the body. And try to maintain that sense of full body awareness. It doesn't go running out your eyes or your ears. Stay in the body. This is a skill. It takes time to master, but it's a useful skill to have. Because when you're with the body, you're at home. And that way you have your home wherever you go. You also have a place of seclusion inside. We come to the monastery to find some seclusion, but it's not the case we can stay in the monastery all the time. When you leave, you can't take the monastery with you, but you can take this skill, and the seclusion of this skill gives you good grounding wherever you go. And John Fu made this point many, many times, that what the Buddha taught was a skill, it wasn't just a body of words, a body of knowledge. The Dharma, he said, is a quality of the heart, and the Buddha teaches us the skills for encouraging that quality of the heart, developing it, because there is the potential for good qualities here in the mind. It's like the grain of wood. You get a rough piece of wood. The grain is already in there in the wood. It requires some polishing, though, for you to bring it out. The same way, there are good things in the mind, but you've got to polish the mind for those good things to show themselves. And this is how you polish the mind. Each time the breath comes in, each time the breath goes out, remind yourself, this is where you stay, inhabiting your body fully. That way you don't have to go get involved with things outside, people outside. You know them, you see them, of course you hear them. But the energy of your mind doesn't go streaming out to those places. It stays inside, where it's safe, where it's grounded, where it's solid. You can have your own inner monastery wherever you go.